Hello everyone. Uh, so in this video, we will talk about a very important uh, program or feature that is available in Windows 10. Uh, it is called a task scheduler. Actually, earlier versions of the Windows already also have task schedulers, but uh, we have a little bit better in Windows 10. So let's talk about task scheduler. Why we need a task scheduler. So as the name suggests, the task scheduler is used uh, by the user to schedule tasks. Uh, so sometimes, you know, we might need to do some disk cleanups or perform certain type of other actions based on certain events, or we need to run some programs or scripts, or maybe we run need to run a script when some action happened or some event happened, or we need to run scripts after scripts you know if some script finished we need to run something else you know so we need to we can schedule those kind of tasks using the tasks scheduler you know um, and actually uh, there are two basic uh, two main uh, kind of tasks that you can schedule in the using a task schedule. one is a basic task and the other is a is an advanced task so today we will first set up a basic task and then we will set up an advanced task and I hope you will understand how you can, uh, you know, uh, set up tasks in the task scheduler. Uh, so some, some more things about the task scheduler here, about this, this UI here. Uh, uh, you see from this right actions menu, you can, you know, create task, create basic task, import a task or something. And on this middle interface, uh, you have an overview of a task scheduler. You can see it says you can use task scheduler to create and manage common tasks that your computer will carry out automatically at the times you specify. Okay, so this is the task status. You can see the status of the tasks during the last hours, during 24 hours and 30 days the status of the tasks and then you have a list of if you go down you have a list of active tasks here right now here more uh, are windows based or system based tasks that are running right now <coughs> anyways so let's uh, go and start to create a new basic task you know as said there are two kind of tasks that you can schedule using a task scheduler basic task and advanced tasks. So to create a basic task, let's click here, create a basic task. Let's say we create a task which is just going to start and you know, executable or start a start a what you can say uh, start an app. You can write some description. This uh, task will start a certain app. Now you create, click next. So the next step is trigger. So trigger is, you know, uh, what it, it's just kind of a, you can say uh, an event or a time you can, you can set, you know, where time is also an event, you know, at a certain time or at a certain restart of the computer, start of the computer or when uh, you log on, you know. Uh, so this trigger is some kind of a, an event which will trigger this task, which will start this task that you're going to set right now. So let's say I say that when the computer starts, you know, or when I log on, I can do this, you know, this task. Now the next is action. So what action you need, this task needs to perform? So when I when under the event I log on, this there is this prog this, uh, this task will start a certain program or it will display a message uh, or it will send an email. Let's say we start a program. We click next. Now which where is the program script? So which program we want to start? Just browse. Let's say we want to start some WordPad or some Notepad to open. So we went under Windows. Let's search for this executable Notepad.exe. 
so we search for the notepad.exe and we opened it and we click open and let's see so this is a program or script it's an executable program notepad which will start as soon as i log on and then i will click next and you see this is a complete picture of this task like it, the name of the task is start an app this task will start a certain app and at log on whenever i am going to log on the desktop this is going to be the event this task this action will take place so under this trigger log on trigger this action will take place so these are the two you know keywords that i explained you trigger and action so you need a trigger to do certain action so the trigger is the event and the action is the start of the program So if you want to see the properties of the task, you can click here, but if you don't, you can simply finish. So as soon as you finish, this task will be created in the task scheduler and whenever I will log in, it will, uh, you know, open the notepad.exe file. So you see you want to see the of course you can't see the status of the task because this task is not running in this last hour or you know in this time period but you can see in the list of active tasks because this task is active and it will perform this action on the event of the trigger of logon so you see here is my task start an app so it is listed in a list of active tasks uh, so we were we are able to create a basic basic task using a task scheduler uh, Actually, uh, let's skip the advanced task scheduling to the next video. I think that's better I will make another video for the the next part of this video as the advanced Success scheduling and advanced tasks using task scheduler. That'll be better. I hope this video is simple and easy to understand for you Stay tuned.